an interstellar object whirling through our solar system is actually a nuclear-powered spacecraft sent by aliens to test how humans respond. It shattered into more than 30 pieces. That was the fate of Comet Atlas, a celestial body that was supposed to light up our night sky. It simply disintegrated, leaving astronomers stunned. Miles away, another object, 2i Borisov, was rewriting the rules. You see, this was no ordinary comet. It was a messenger from another star. A fresh reanalysis of Borisov has uncovered a shocking link to the tragic end of Atlas. This isn't just a story about two comets. It's about a cosmic blueprint and a chilling warning written in the stars for our own solar system. Visitor from the Deep Cold in the vast, silent theater of space, a new actor took the stage in 2019. Discovered by an amateur astronomer, this wasn't just another rock. This was 2i Borisov, and the I stands for interstellar. It was only the second time in history we had ever confirmed a visitor from outside our solar system, and this one was talking. Unlike its silent predecessor, Oumuamua, Borisov had a voice a glowing coma, and a tail of gas and dust. It was, without a doubt, a comet. But the things nobody tells you is that this visitor was unlike any comet we had ever seen. It was moving at a mind-bending speed of over 110,000 miles per hour. That's fast enough to travel from New York to Los Angeles in under two minutes. This incredible velocity was the ultimate proof. It was not bound by our sun's gravity. It was just passing through, a tourist on a billion-year journey. As astronomers around the world scrambled to point every telescope they could at this fleeting guest, they started to uncover just how special Borisov was. You see, comets are like cosmic snowballs. They're leftovers from the formation of planets, made of ice, dust, and frozen gases. When they get close to a star, the heat makes those ices turn directly into gas, creating the beautiful glow we see. By studying that gas, we can read the chemical recipe of the star system where it was born. And Borisov's recipe was shocking. It was spewing out enormous amounts of carbon monoxide gas. We're talking levels between 9 and 26 times higher than the average for comets born in our solar system. For that much carbon monoxide to freeze and become part of a comet, it must have formed in an environment that was brutally, unimaginably cold. A place far colder than the Kyber Belt, the icy junkyard beyond Neptune where many of our comets come from. This discovery was a massive clue. It painted a picture of Borisov's home. It likely formed in the frigid outer reaches of a planetary system orbiting a red dwarf star, a star much smaller and cooler than our sun. There, in the deep, freezing darkness, it was a perfect time capsule, preserving the raw ingredients of its birthplace. Then, probably, a giant planet in its system, like a cosmic slingshot, flung Borisov out into the void of interstellar space. For millions, maybe billions of years, it drifted alone in the dark, a frozen ghost waiting for a chance encounter. That encounter was with our solar system, but the most incredible detail was yet to come. Further analysis using a technique called polarimetry, which studies how light reflects off the dust particles in a comet's coma, delivered the final verdict. 2i Borisov was, quite possibly, the most pristine comet humanity has ever observed. It had never, ever passed close to its own star. Its surface was untouched, unburnt, and unaltered. It was a perfect factory-sealed sample of another world. This wasn't just a discovery, it was a revelation. We were looking at a blueprint for building planets from another star system, delivered right to our doorstep. Borisov represented the absolute beginning, the pure, raw potential of a solar system. It was a cosmic atom, untouched by the corrupting influence of a star's heat and radiation. The data it provided was a priceless glimpse into the chemistry of another corner of the galaxy. It was a story of pure preservation. 
But as scientists celebrated this perfect messenger, another comet, this one one of our own, was about to tell a very different story, a story of destruction. What happens when a comet isn't so perfect? Atlas Falls. While the interstellar alien 2i Borisov was amazing scientists, another comet was stealing the headlines for a very different reason. This was Comet C 2019-Y4, better known as Atlas. Discovered by the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System in Hawaii, Atlas was our hometown hero. It came from the Oort Cloud, the mysterious, gigantic shell of icy bodies that surrounds our solar system trillions of miles away, and it was on a path to put on a show. In early 2020, Atlas started brightening at a shocking rate. Astronomers were buzzing with excitement. Projections showed it could become bright enough to be seen with the naked eye, maybe even becoming one of the most spectacular comets of the last two decades. The world was watching, waiting for our very own celestial firework. But then, something went wrong. In mid-March, just as the anticipation was peaking, Atlas stopped brightening. Then it started to fade, fast. Something was happening to the heart of the comet. Amateur astronomers with powerful telescopes were the first to see the horrible truth. The nucleus, the solid icy core of the comet, was elongating. It was breaking apart. To get a closer look, astronomers pointed the Hubble Space Telescope at the dying comet. What Hubble saw was both tragic and spectacular. The single nucleus was gone. In its place were dozens of smaller fragments, a ghostly chain of icy debris. On April 20th, Hubble saw roughly 30 pieces. Three days later, it saw 20, if each fragment was about the size of a house, all wrapped in a shared sun-swept tail of dust, like a funeral procession across the heavens. The great spectacle had turned into a great disintegration. Comet Atlas had crumbled. But not all things are what they seem because this death wasn't just a random event. It was a clue. Scientists believe Atlas was actually a piece of a much larger ancient comet. Its orbit was eerily similar to the Great Comet of 1844, suggesting they were both fragments of a parent body that broke apart some 5,000 years ago. So, Atlas was already a survivor of one ancient catastrophe. But this time, the gentle warmth of our sun was too much for its fragile structure. The very thing that was supposed to make it shine was what tore it apart. The outgassing of ices from its surface likely caused it to spin faster and faster until it ripped itself to pieces. The death of Atlas was a stark reminder of the brutal reality for comets in our solar system. They are not all pristine voyagers. They are ancient weathered travelers, constantly battered by solar radiation and gravitational forces. They are survivors, often fragile and flawed. We watched one of our own, a comet born from the same cloud of gas and dust as Earth, simply fall apart. It was a cosmic failure, a promise that turned to dust. At the time, it seemed like a completely separate story from the triumphant passage of the alien Borisov. One was a perfect specimen, the other was a cosmic train wreck. Or was there a deeper connection? Could the fate of Atlas be linked to Borisov's perfection? Preservation versus destruction. This is where the story takes a sharp turn. For years, the pristine nature of 2i Borisov and the tragic disintegration of Comet Atlas were seen as two fascinating but separate cosmic events. One was a lesson in alien chemistry, the other a lesson in cometary physics. But a reanalysis, a deeper look at what both of these comets represent, has revealed a chilling connection that reframes our entire understanding of our solar system's history. You see, the connection isn't that they came from the same place or were made of the same stuff. The connection is what they tell us when you put their stories side by side. It's a cosmic tale of before and after. Tui Borisov is the before. It is a blueprint. 
Because it was likely ejected from its home system without ever getting close to its parent star, it remained in a state of perfect preservation. It's a sample of the raw, unadulterated ingredients that form planets. Its incredibly high carbon monoxide content tells us about the extreme cold of its birthplace, and its uniform dust coma tells us that it hasn't been cooked, melted, and refrozen over and over again. Borisov is what the building blocks of our own solar system might have looked like over four and a half billion years ago before they were processed by our sun. It's a window into the pure, undisturbed past. Then there's Atlas. Comet Atlas is the after. It represents the harsh reality of spending billions of years inside a solar system. Coming from our own Oort cloud, it has endured countless eons of faint but persistent solar radiation. Its journey towards the inner solar system, a trip that takes thousands of years, was the final straw. The increasing warmth from the sun caused its fragile, ancient ices to sublimate violently. Not in a smooth, stable way, but in chaotic jets that spun the nucleus to its breaking point. It wasn't a strong, solid object like the blueprint Borisov represented. It was more like an ancient piece of pottery, full of fractures and weaknesses that shattered at the slightest touch of heat. Here's the chilling connection nobody saw at first. Borisov, the alien, gives us the context to understand the death of Atlas, our native. Before Borisov, we didn't have a perfect baseline. All the comets we studied were our own, meaning they were all, to some degree, processed and weathered survivors. We had no control group. Borisov provided that control. It showed us what a truly untouched comet looks like. By comparing the pristine, solid nature of Borisov to the fragile, fragmented end of Atlas, we get a powerful insight. The journey through a solar system is a destructive process. Our sun, the very star that gives us life, is also a relentless engine of erosion, slowly breaking down the ancient relics in our own backyard. Borisov survived because it was a refugee a drifter in the protective cold of interstellar space. Atlas perished because it was a native, subject to the laws and violence of its home. But what if more of these cosmic refugees are heading our way? Visitors in the Dark The story doesn't end with two comets. In fact, it's just the beginning. The discovery of Oumuamua and Borisov opened the floodgates. It proved that interstellar objects aren't just a theoretical possibility, they are actively visiting our solar system. The thing is, we're starting to get better at finding them. And this is where it gets really interesting for every single person watching this right now. Some astronomers are already tracking a candidate for the third interstellar visitor, an object they have tentatively nicknamed 3i Atlas. Is it a coincidence it shares a name with the comet that fell apart? Maybe, or maybe it's a sign that the universe is far busier and more connected than we ever imagined. What does this all mean? Are these objects just random cosmic driftwood or are they clues in a much larger mystery? This is where we venture into the wilder side of science. Let's be real for a second. The first visitor, Oumuamua, was shaped like a cigar and accelerated away from the sun with no explanation. The second Borisov was the most pristine comet ever seen. What if these aren't accidents? One wild theory suggests they are probes, each with a different mission. Oumuamua could have been a high-speed flyby, a reconnaissance drone gathering data. Borisov, on the other hand, with its strange chemical composition, could be a geological probe designed to look like a natural comet while shedding alien materials for the local inhabitants, that's us, to study. But not all things are what they seem, and there's an even darker theory. What if these objects aren't messengers from living star systems, but tombstones from dead ones? The universe is a violent place. Stars explode, planets collide. These interstellar visitors could be the shrapnel from a cosmic catastrophe that happened millions of years ago. 
Borisov's pristine nature might mean it was a rogue planet, frozen and dead, from a system that was annihilated. In this chilling scenario, they aren't bringing clues about life. They're bringing warnings about cosmic destruction, making the fate of Comet Atlas feel like a small-scale preview of a galactic horror story. Yet there is a third mind-bending possibility. The thing nobody tells you is that some serious scientists have proposed the idea of directed panspermia. This is the theory that an ancient, hyper-advanced civilization seeded the galaxy with life. How? By sending out trillions of messenger comets, just like Borisov, packed with water and the essential organic molecules needed to kickstart biology on barren planets. In this version of the story, Borisov wasn't a random visitor, it was a delivery, an arc from a long-lost civilization carrying the seeds of life across the cosmos. This would mean that life on Earth might not be unique at all, but part of a deliberate galactic project. The possibilities are mind-boggling. Probes, tombstones, or arcs. We used to think of our solar system as an island. Now we know it's more like a busy port, with ships from distant lands constantly passing through, each with a story to tell. All we have to do is look up and pay attention. Are we smart enough to read them before the next visitor arrives? What do you think these interstellar objects mean for humanity? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more cosmic mysteries.